<laughs> what if I just was like, <laughs> oh my god, no. you're gonna get us demonetized? No, I think that's like a threat. Is that violent? That's like a that deserves like a trigger warning. I was not a threat. I said, what if I was like, I didn't say I'm gonna. That would have been a threat. Yeah. What does that on me? Oh, Lord, it's a piece of bacon, bacon that flew off the thing. Hey, y'all, it's the Southern Snackers. I'm Bucky. I'm Brandon, and we have our pizza. Y'all, if you watched Ooh. yesterday's video, you know that we made a fun chicken crust buffalo chicken pizza. Y'all, it has just got out of the oven. It is piping hot. But I'm if gonna... you haven't watched it, go back and watch it yes. before you watch this one. So you can see exactly what we're eating today, y'all. Okay. So this is the pizza. Looks divine. Let me see if I can get it up there close a little bit. Give y'all up close and personal look. That looks so good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little cut seize. So Brandon's cut some pieces off and it we've let it cool a little bit. A little bit. It still might be a little hot though. So y'all, the crust is all chicken if you didn't watch yesterday's video. And I, it is, it smells. Oh, oh, y'all look. So good. <gasps> oh, good little so cheese pull. Ow! Okay, that was hot. Let me get this piece. Okay, how are you holding that? Oh! Oh, really? <laughs> it? I mean, it's hot, but. Uh, oh no, everything slid off. Okay, I gotta. Might want to take a break. Y'all, it's just the bitter truth. Some pizzas are better with a fork. I know. Because it's so messy. But this one's not really that messy. I don't know. It's just hot. Alright, I gotta get my topping. Oh, yeah. Um... Oh, y'all look at that bite. Mmm. It is steaming. It's good, though. Mmm. Dude, it's good. Mmm. Yum. I will say, so when Brandon made this before, we <laughs> we used more traditional pizza toppings. Mm -hmm. So it was it had like marinara sauce, mushrooms, pepperonis. That's all. And that's all. And cheese. Mm -hmm. But it like tasted more traditional. This, when I'm eating it, it's delicious, don't get me wrong, but I don't think pizza. Do you think pizza, I mean, uh, this is more like a casserole. Well, I don't a, think, I don't really, I've never, okay. I guess it, it reminds me of the pizza if you order this pizza. But I've never been a huge fan of like, when I like, when I order pizza, I like to order what I consider more traditional pizza. So like, I like a red sauce, you know, mm. every now and then I'll get a little crazy and do something different, but you know what I'm saying? So just by the toppings and everything on this pizza, it already took me away from that thought. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It is so good though. Mm. The bacon was a nice touch. This is really good. And I'm glad we didn't put too much bacon, because like you said in the last video, mm -hmm. it could overpower it. It's oh. honestly still not, I mean, it's buffalo-y, but it could even use maybe like a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Huh? Huh? Yeah. You were like, I know that pizza was in your mouth and it was hot, but you were trying to talk, and so we're like, <laughs> the way you were talking was funny. Oh, here's a pizza crust. <laughs> I'm trying to chicken nugget. The crust is good. Honestly, is this what McDonald's chicken nuggets are made out of? Oh, so that it texture. Be. Yeah, might be. The texture of the. Okay, if you want to know the texture of this crust, it is a chicken, it is nugget. A chicken nugget from McDonald's. Y'all look, let me just show y'all this up close so you can see the crust. Ah! God, it didn't get really hot. Mmm. This is yummo. So you like this one better? No. Or the other one better? The other one better. Mm. I like a more traditional, but I like a more traditional pizza. 
If I made this crust again, I would do it as a real pizza. Yeah. I just think this is literally like, mm. I imagine this just being like a casserole. I know what you mean. That's good though. And something about, I guess, like all the Parmesan cheese and stuff. <clears throat> like in the crust. Y'all, this, you can only eat like one little it's piece. So, it's so filling. That whole of food. Lord, this cheese is never ending. Oh. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh god <clears throat> it was doing that thing where it was down my throat but it was still coming you know what i mean <laughs> huh nothing <laughs> oh. it was hot in here mm-hmm how oh well now Uh, we have an industrial. It feels so good. Mm. Oh, it's all like it's hot when you cook in the kitchen. Well, yeah, especially in the summer. Oh my gosh, y'all! If y'all were close to Charlotte, come and grab a piece because we made so much. We did. I mean, this would be perfect for like a family though, like kids. A family of four. I say family of six. <laughs> Yo, why did I make I should have made it much smaller. That's in that video I said we're making all that. But one thing last time when he did make this, he made a lot, and I ate on it for two days. Mm-hmm. And I'll do the same. And y'all, it's just it's kinda like pizza. Hopefully this will be the same. But it's kinda like pizza in that it's good cold too. Yeah. Which some people are weird about chick eating chicken cold. Yeah. But I don't mind it. But I do know that that's a thing. And these mushrooms are cooked perfectly. This is literally a chicken nugget though. That's what I'm saying. I think we have figured out what is in McDonald's chicken nuggets. Like they put Parmesan in them to make them like go further. I don't think so. It's probably some chemical powder that seems like Parmesan, but it's not. But that's what it tastes like. It does taste a lot like that. When you eat it by itself. Mm hmm Mmm. -hmm. I don't think I'm gonna eat any more. I'm gonna finish this one piece right here. At least. Oh, our coldest water bottle. What about it? Did we talk about it at the beginning? No, of this? Uh -uh. It's here though. In the description below there'll be a link. You can go buy yourself a coldest bottle, y'all. They work so good. Did it, does the camera like lean? I think it is a little bit. It's Did it fine. start like that? I don't know. I don't either. Maybe when I walked through there, turned the fan on it and moved it a little bit. I bet that's what it was. Y'all, this is so good though, for real. Like, I'll, like, if you have a gluten allergy, or if you're doing keto, or like a really low carb diet, highly, highly recommend this crust. Like, for anything. Like, the thing is, I think what Buck, I think what Bucky is, what I'm thinking, and maybe what Bucky thinks too, or like what he's, I don't know, kind of like what he said is, when you eat it like this with like these toppings, you taste the chicken. When you ate it, to me, when I ate it with the red sauce and the pepperoni and mushroom, I didn't feel like I was eating chicken. It was like it was pizza. It was more like it was pizza, and so you're not thinking chicken. But the way we did it here. It's a buffalo chicken pizza where the chicken is the crust, but also serving as one of the main flavors. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 100%. So that's the difference. And y'all... But the, the the crust itself is really good. So like, I would highly recommend, like, it's super simple. Get you some ground chicken, an egg, and some Parmesan cheese. Just mix it all together and bake it, y'all. And it is, I mean, just flatten it out and bake it like it's a pizza crust. And y'all, it is really good. Like, I'm not just saying that. 
Um, and when I first read about it online, I was like, I don't know. So I was like, I have to make this. Well, the next see. day after we did it the first time, he went back out the next day and we were like, we need to film this on video. Yeah. This, this is going to be the video that we come back to with a cooking show yeah. after our hiatus because it's it's so good. And it's if different. you've done this before, let us know down below. Yeah. Like, or if you've done something similar. Well, um, I like call it, like cauliflower crust. Like, there's some recipes for that, but that y'all, that seems really freaking hard. Ooh, that could be fun. To uh, but I don't even want to. I mean, literally, when you look at the recipes, it seems well, like. What it's if you get the mashed cauliflower so from the much. store already? I don't know. It's just so wet. Yeah. I don't know how they dry it out. Um, but what also what I was gonna say is. Also watching the Paris Hilton new cooking show yeah. on Netflix kind of got us inspired to jump back on the cooking show bandwagon. Um, and if y'all haven't watched it, it's, it's really fun. It's funny. Like, don't expect much out of it, no, but it's no. cute. Like, it's like... If you like her, I mean, if you like yeah. her personality, you'll love it. And if you don't, don't watch it. Yeah, because it's you're not going to get anything out of it. It's not groundbreaking. It's just, she has some cool guests, like... You know, Kim Kardashian was on there. Um, Demi Lovato was Nikki on Glazer, there. Nikki Glazer. Her mom and sister. Her mom and sister. Her, which, Kathy Hilton is like gold. God, her own Beverly Hills. <clears throat> She's like the was, best edition. Like that. Whenever she said, "Who is who is Hunky Dory?" That is the best line. If y'all have not seen that, go right now and Google Kathy Hilton, "Who was Hunky Dory." Because you don't even need to know what's going on. Just Google that. So, like, like, so seriously, this lady, one of the other housewives, Sutton, who's, like, really Southern. And I think Hunky Dory, maybe it's a Southern saying. I don't know. I don't know. But she's saying, I can't, she was, like, complaining about something. And she was basically like, I can't go around saying, like, everything's Hunky Dory, which. Means all good. It means, like, like, you know, I can't go around acting like everything's peachy, everything's just fine. fine. And I think it is a, a, a Southern saying. I don't know. I could imagine, like. Somebody from the north being like hunky dory. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, but Kathy Hilton obviously has never heard that phrase in her life because she's in all seriousness looks at somebody else and she goes, "Who is hunky dory?" <laughs> like completely serious, <laughs> thinking it was like in reference to a person. And y'all, it is like one of the funniest clips you'll ever watch. So go Google that right now if you've not seen it. Yeah. Um, but y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, like I said, highly, highly recommend the pizza crust. I don't know that I would ever make this recipe again, specifically. I would stick to a more traditional pizza flavor. Yeah, so basically go back, watch our video, do everything that we did except add marinara. Put red sauce, cheese, yeah. pepperoni, mushroom, your traditional pizza topping. So think of it as a replacement crust for a traditional pizza, and I think you'll love it. This is really good, but it does not it, taste as pizza. It won't, yeah, it's good. It's yeah. more casserole chicken. But I don't you think can, I'd say casserole now. It ain't real wet and heavy. Well, I'm casserole. just saying you're not going to get, if you're craving pizza, a pizza dish on keto. But if you're craving this, pizza, you wouldn't get this pizza anyway. See, that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. If you're think. craving pizza on keto, this ain't yeah, it. Yeah, you yeah. need to do it traditional. But I just, what I'm trying to say though is, what I think, and like how I said earlier, is when I think, when I'm craving pizza, I would never get like a buffalo chicken pizza. Yes, th that's why I just said that. Okay, I'm sorry. <sighs> well, anyways, we better get off here. Yeah, we Things better. Things are taking a turn. <laughs> <laughs> what right. if I just was like... <laughs> Oh my god, you're gonna get us demonetized. No. Wow. I think that's like a threat. Is that vibrant? That's like a, that deserves like a trigger warning. I was not a threat. I said, what if I was just like, I didn't say, I'm gonna. That would have been a threat. Yeah. What is that on me? Oh, Lord, it's a piece of bacon that flew off the thing. Anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. I think we tilted even more. Just turn your head like this, nobody will notice. <laughs> thank you so much for watching our cooking show yesterday and then this video today. We and... hope you enjoyed it. And just remember, when life gets tough, just keep on snacking. Bye, y'all.